Hey everyone, it's like I'm here in another YouTube video today. Um, today's video is going to be out of Tennessee. This is going to be about a woman who was fired after calling cops on a black man for wearing socks in the neighborhood pool. Now, I've been seeing this a lot lately. And it's been with kids mostly, but now it's with adults, so let's get into it. So says a Tennessee property manager was fired after she and her boyfriend were discriminated against for being black. Now, for these people, first off, these people being racist, I don't know if they were brought up into it being racist or if they were had bad dealings with people of other race or whatever the case may be. But this is getting ridiculous now. We go from it being a little girl selling a bottle of water to the little boy and his friend cutting grass now to somebody wearing socks in the neighborhood pool. Now, it gets worse than this, so. Now, it says not only that, it says the lady who took her boyfriend and godchildren to the pool were approached by the female saying that he had to remove his socks or leave. The pool pointed to a sign requiring proper a tear, okay, which is fine, but did not say anything to the three white males wearing hats. Now, apparently it says they were her friends. She said no shirts, no hats, and no socks. Now, you go up to the black man and say no socks, why don't you go up to your friends or whoever they were and say no hats? Then they were sitting there way longer than the black people were. Because she was already there with her friends wearing the hats. They just brought up in there with, no, with the sock and no socks. Now, what the big deal is, why you can't wear socks or a hat anyways, I don't know. I mean, if you're not going in the pool, why can't you wear socks anyways? And that is a point that the black male made. He said... I can wear socks as long as I don't go in the pool, which makes sense to me because why doesn't it, I mean, why would you go in the pool with socks on? I mean, why can't you wear a hat either? I mean, I mean, and why can't you wear a shirt? I mean, that's kind of stupid rules if you ask me. I mean, honestly, that is kind of stupid rules yeah. in my point of view. I mean, if you're not going in the water, why can't you wear a shirt, hats, and socks? I mean... Why? I mean, that, that makes no sense to me. Um, so she did call the cops on him, eventually. She did call the cops. Um, the lady did apologize. Um, after a while, she did apologize after the cops left and during the cops. Um, the woman did say she was very apologetic. Um, and she said, apology don't mean nothing. You know, you embarrass me, which I agree, you know. I mean, how... How are you going to call a cops on someone for wearing socks in a pool? I mean, that's stupid. I mean, that is stupid. And, you know, the lady did leave. She said, she ruined my 4th of July, but I will leave. So it did happen on 4th of July. But she did leave. Um, um, in the video at the end, she did say, you will be fired and I want my money to run free, which is fine. I would do the same thing. You know what I mean? Th that's just crazy. Call them the cops on someone for wearing socks. And you know, the lady said it could have went a whole different way, but you called the cops and now you wanna be apologetic. Which is true, it could have went a whole different way. You know, she could have said, you know, can you please take your socks off or something and then go to the people wearing the hats or go over to the people wearing the hats first. You know, or if you're not gonna say nothing to the people wearing the hats, don't say nothing to the guy wearing the socks. I mean honestly to me it's not that big of a deal. Whatever. But she claims it to be, but you know, if you're not gonna say nothing to them, don't say nothing to him, you know. Racism is just ridiculous now. It's just getting crazy and worse. People don't know how to act. You know, I mean, I don't know what to even say about this. I mean, there's stupid reasons. You know, you're from a girl, son, a black girl selling a bottle of water, so, you know, you call the cops on her because she's black selling water. You go, to the people barbecuing, you get the cops call on them, you go to the little boys cutting grass, call the cops on them, you know. 
And now you got this person called like house on I got for wearing socks. And you know, I wanna put out here, you know. I've been seeing a lot of race issues lately and you know a lot of people a lot of black people are saying white people are the KKK and all this and you know just because the media blasts bad news doesn't mean all white people are bad, you know. You know, the media is going to blast stuff. You know, media is going to blast about Trump doing this, Trump doing that, Trump doing it, Just like they did with Obama, okay? You know, the media is going to blast stuff about black people too. It's going to blast about, you know, this black person shot this black person or this white person, whatever, you know. Same thing with cops. You know, this white cop shot this black person, you know, or, you know, same thing with Mexicans crossing the border illegally, Chinese doing this, you know. Jap Japanese doing this, you know, um, people in the other world are going to bomb us, going to do this, do that, you know, to get to keep their viewings up is what they're trying to do. But what they don't realize is that each time that they blast this, it's pushing people farther away, you know. We probably started like that, now we're like that, you know, we can't even see it no more. We're not that far away from people. And, you know, people are brought up how they're brought up. Can't change how they're brought up. You know, and the reason I make my videos and put this stuff out here is because people need to know what's going on, but they also don't need to know what the media is saying. What the media is saying is they're just trying to get their views and ratings up so they get paid. They don't care what happens. What I'm trying to do is get the news out there, but also... Keep it to where, you know, I don't think all black people are bad. I don't think all white people are bad. Same goes with Chinese and Mexicans. I don't think that anybody's all bad. You know, everybody got their own people and their own race that have issues going on. But, because I see it every day. I work fast food right now. I work at Burger King, so I see it every day. I've dealt with... Black people that have been nicer to me than some white people have been to me. You know, I dealt with black people that have called me racist just for asking them to sign a receipt. I've dealt with Mexicans calling me racist because I can't understand them. But at the same time, I've also dealt with Mexicans that were nice to me, nicer than white people. I've dealt with black people that were nicer than white people to me. You know, and it just depends on how you're brought up, how you were raised, um, what you believe in, what you don't believe in, um, how you've been treated by other races, you know. And, you know, a lot of people say it won't change your, it will change once you've been uh, affected by race, dealing with other people. And, you know, I've dealt with good white people, black people, Mexicans. Probably even even Chinese. Um, I've also dealt with black black people, white people, and probably even Chinese people. You know, and you know, same thing goes with gay, lesbian, gay, by trans people. I've dealt with good of them and bad of them. You know, some people, you know, they think that we don't like them because they're gay or lesbian or trans or whatever. And I've dealt with nice of people. You know. I don't discriminate against race, color, gender. You know, as long as you treat me with respect, I'm going to treat you with respect. I don't care what your skin color is, what you identify as, what you like, what you don't like. I mean, you know, as long as you're not a killer or trying to hurt people or selling drugs out on the street and you treat me with respect, I'm going to treat you with respect. And that's just how it is. You know, People are just being racist now, I feel like, just to be racist, they don't even care about people. And then the media just blasts it out there, like, I, we don't care about people either. So, you know, I want to make these videos to put the story out there, but also to uh, make it not that all people are bad, and that, you know, people can work together and make the situation better. You know, white people and black people can work together. Mexicans, blacks, and whites can work together. We can all work together and stop the racial divide. And that would help out the country a lot, I feel. That would solve a lot of the violence, I think. Um, let me know what you guys think about what I just said. Um, 
Let me know what you think about this video and about what I just said. Um, and if y'all have any videos y'all want me to do, uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.